News of fire, flood and storm comes from every direction. Smoke fills our lungs and makes our eyes water. Planetary boundaries stretch and break. And from the fringes of a city, where the colonising tendrils of the concrete jungle have fragmented a natural landscape beyond recognition, comes a virus that can leap from animals to humans and in a matter of days turn life as we know it upside down. This is the Anthropocene, the age of humans, where human interference with ecological systems has devastating planetary impact. So what can law do about this? Western law and legal systems have been complicit in creating the conditions of the Anthropocene, most importantly, because they conceptualise nature as the property and dominion of humans. Our laws allow nature to be exploited, degraded and treated without respect. It's clear we need new ways to protect the earth in the Anthropocene. Around the world, communities are adopting new laws that recognise nature as a legal subject with rights of its own. In Ecuador, the constitution recognises nature's right to life, to regenerate and to be restored. Legislation in New Zealand recognises the legal personhood of the Whanganui River, and the river now holds its own land title. Across the globe, communities experiencing the impacts of climate change, biodiversity loss and other potentially fatal symptoms of the Anthropocene are asserting nature's legal rights. To understand if and how we should pursue this course of action, we need to know how are legal rights for nature useful for protecting the earth in the Anthropocene. My research brings together theory, legal texts and the experiences of people implementing these laws on the ground in the USA, India and New Zealand to understand how rights of nature are constructed in law how they operate in practice to reduce or even reverse ecological degradation, and how they could be applied at a planetary scale to help us navigate the uncharted waters of the Anthropocene. My research will help lawyers and communities draft and implement strong and effective laws to protect the rights of the earth. I will trace a path from local implementation to global application of nature's rights learning from local transformations to address our planetary crisis. And if, through our law, humanity can demonstrate respect for the Earth and a capacity to live as part of nature rather than as masters of it, then perhaps we can find our way through the Anthropocene.